Alrighty guys, what's going on? Link here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and what connection it might have with Pokemon Home, the application service on mobile devices and on the Nintendo Switch that allows you to store Pokemon and transfer them between new Pokemon games. It's the replacement for Pokemon Bank, and there's a lot of questions surrounding what kind of compatibility it will eventually have next year when the games come out and when Pokemon Home eventually gets uploaded and updated for compatibility with Pokemon B. DSP because as we've seen with previous games, it takes about a month or two for that compatibility feature to eventually be added. So with that being said, let's jump right into things. Right off the bat, I think it's important to say that I am very confident that Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl will have some sort of compatibility with Pokemon Home. Every single Pokemon game on the Switch that is mainline has it. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee have it. It connects with Pokemon Go. That connects with Pokemon Sword and Shield. And you can transfer Pokemon to and from all of these different games within Pokemon Home. Pokemon Home is also really handy because you can store Pokemon in it that might not be in the Pokedex in Sword and Shield. So there's a couple Pokemon in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and obviously Pokemon you can bring up from Bank and from Let and from Go that aren't in the games. They're not in the Pokedex. You can't bring them into these games, but you can still bring them up onto your Switch and keep them in Pokemon Home. That brings us to the big question about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, I did a video a couple weeks back talking about the changes that they need to make to the Pokedex in BDSP. If you have not seen that video yet, there'll be a link in the top right corner in the card over there. You can check it out if you haven't already. I talk about basically what changes Nintendo needs to make and Ilka Inc. specifically need to make to the Pokedex from the original games in order to make these games the best that they can possibly be. And a lot of those changes include bringing in Pokemon that weren't already in the game. I mean, think about it. Generation 4 came out in 2006. That was the original release of Diamond and Pearl, 2006, 2007. And eventually, Platinum came out and succeeded Diamond and Pearl and was ultimately the best version of the game. And they made changes even in that game to the Pokedex. Because back then, Game Freak realized that the Pokedex in Diamond and Pearl was not up to snuff. It was not good enough. There needed to be things added to it that weren't originally in it. There was a severe lack of fire types, yada, yada, yada. We've been over this. We've been through this a bunch. There's a couple things that Pokemon Home could introduce that would make this even better than what I highlighted back in that first video. Now, before we move any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully, you know, enjoying them from, you know, time to time, aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time, and it would do a lot to show me that you guys are enjoying these videos and that you want to see more discussions like them in the future. It's been years, years since Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum originally came out. We've had, what, f three, four generations of brand new Pokemon games ever since these games released. We've had two more sets of remakes and, you know, let's go Pikachu and Eevee, which are yellow remakes, but it's 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 a little more complicated. Needless to say, regardless, we've got a lot of new Pokemon that should hopefully be introduced into the Sinnoh region, and I think there's a way they're going to do it that hopefully will work for everyone, and it's the way they've done introducing new Pokemon into old regions in the past. Now, there are some caveats. There have been some times where Game Freak themselves were a little apprehensive to introduce new Pokemon into old regions, famously in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, it's near impossible to get the evolutions of Gen 1 Pokemon that were, you know, later given evolutions in later, later gens. The most iconic version is that you could get a Golbat in Fire Red and Leaf Green, but you couldn't evolve it into Crobat until, like, I, if I'm remembering correctly, until post-game, which is just weird. Crobat's a Pokemon, it exists, the Johto region exists in the canon, you should be able to get a Crobat, it, it doesn't make much sense. But the fix that I think they're going to go for with these games, if... We have a full Pokedex, and I have a weird feeling that we are going to get a full Pokedex, is that once you complete the main story of the game, once you defeat Cynthia and you gain access to the battle area and all of those northeastern island areas of the Sinnoh region, you're going to be able to transfer in Pokemon from other games. You're going to have the ability to get new Pokemon that were in later generations, Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 7, Gen 8, so on and so forth, and you're going to be able to have them in this game. I... As we've gotten closer to release, I'm more and more of the opinion that this game is going to have all the Pokemon. 
the models are models that we already have. They're the Pokemon Home models. These are models that Ilka developed in consultation with Game Freak. They work within the application and in the Switch game. They already have all of these features already programmed. They just have to bring the models into Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the remix, BDSP. It makes way too much sense not to include every single Pokemon. If you're not going to have them in the Pokedex, which... I think makes sense. You're, they're going to make some alterations to the Pokedex. They're probably, you know, fingers crossed, going to have the Platinum Pokedex. You can at least give players access to them once you beat the game. Once you're able to open up the home application and move Pokemon back and forth, that's probably what's going to end up happening. And there's definitely going to be some workarounds. I mean, I would be shocked if it doesn't work the way that Heart Gold and Soul Silver worked. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, if you had beaten Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and you had all of these very powerful Pokemon, all of these Pokemon from earlier generations you brought in through the PAL Park, you could then very easily just trade them over to your version of Heart Gold and Soul Silver and use a team of anybody you wanted playing through it. This is the case with any Pokemon game. As long as you have the Pokemon in a game that is trade compatible, you can then move them over and you can use them and use them on your team. You don't have to be restricted to the Pokemon that are available in the overworld at the time. You can bring in any Pokemon that that you want and i have a feeling that just like with sword and shields compatibility with pokemon home pokemon bdsp is going to have the same if you go into brilliant diamond and shining pearl and you want to use a mudkip as your starter pokemon i think it would behoove ilka and pokemon and nintendo and all the the companies that be to let you bring that pokemon in maybe you gatekeep access to pokemon home compatibility until maybe one or two gyms in but you need to allow the player to use this feature especially when the connectivity about legends arceus the other game that's coming out soon is suspect at best we are not fully sure what the compatibility is going to be with legends i've theorized in previous videos that you'll be able to send pokemon from legends into home because game freak have said on multiple occasions that one of the things that they like about services like home and bank is that pokemon teams and specific pokemon that a player makes memories with in one game they can continue to bring up and continue to have that was one of the driving reasons why they developed pokemon bank back on the 3ds and why they've reintroduced it as pokemon home on the switch it would be shocking to me if the teams and the memories and the pokemon that you have in legends are not able to at least be brought over into pokemon home regardless of if you can actually transfer pokemon from home into legends that's an entirely different discussion with bdsp i think you're going to be able to do both and i think that a full pokedex will allow bdsp to be the most compatible game with home as it's going to be the only generation the Switch generation of Pokemon games that's going to have every single Pokemon. Let's Go was restricted to Kanto Pokemon and then Alolan Forms and then you had Meltan and Melmetal. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, famously, obviously, has some Pokedex restrictions that eventually with the DLC got minimized a little bit, but there are still a lot of Pokemon that you just can't get in Pokemon Sword and Shield Swellow, one of the Pokemon on my original Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire team I have in Pokemon Home, I can bring over my entire team from my original playthrough of Alpha Sapphire, except for Swellow. Swellow sadly has to just sit in Pokemon Home all alone by himself, and he can't even move into that game, and it's unfortunate. And it would be really cool as a personal touch if I was able to have all of these Pokemon that I have had so many fond memories playing through different regions with and getting all of the ribbons from beating all of the different championship leagues across these games and had a game on the newest piece of hardware that I was able to have all of these teams on because listen it's one thing to have these Pokemon stored in home and to be able to look at them on your switch and it's it's neat that you can actually pull them up on your smartphone and take a look at your entire collection I think that's a really good feature of home even if it is restricted behind a paywall, at least some of these features. But there's something about having these Pokemon in its own game that I think Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl would go a long way to calming down some of the naysayers about these games if they included a feature like this. Imagine having getting to bring your Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 7 Pokemon, your teams from Alola, your teams from uh, Unova, into the Sinnoh region for the first time ever and be able to use them in battle. It's crazy and really cool to me that in Legends Arceus, we have Oshawott as a starter. That's a Gen 5 Pokemon that we're able to play with in the Sinnoh region. That's something that we've never been able to have before, obviously, because when the games first came out, 
these Pokemon just didn't exist. But now we have this ability. We have the ability to use these Pokemon from newer games or just bring up fan favorites and use them in a new adventure. Because of the art style and because of the strange divisiveness that exists with BDSP due to the fact that it is more of a faithful remake, the fact that it isn't in the art style of Sword and Shield or Legends, the fact that it is very different, this would go a long way to giving people more options in the game, giving people more customization, and just allowing that connectivity with home, which is one of the main selling points of home, to thrive in a way that it doesn't necessarily do with Sword and Shield. And there's gatekeeping still. You can send Pokemon in from Go, which is one game that's compatible with home, but you can't send them back. We need a game on the Switch that you can send Pokemon to and from, and it's the whole Dex. It would go a long way to just making the fan experience with these games better, and I think it would go a long way to build up trust moving forward with the Pokedex for Nintendo, Game Freak, and now Ilka, since they are developing both of these games. With that being said, I would love to hear what you guys think about this. Do you think Pokemon BDSP is going to have home compatibility? And if so, how much compatibility do you think it will have? And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like. It would do a ton to support me, and it would do a ton to show me that you guys are enjoying these videos and you want to see more in the future. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.